Hello everybody, welcome to today's Chakra Khan album. No, it's not an album, it's a reaction video. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, and just before we get started, a few things then. So firstly, if you uh, want to request a video for us to react to, um, basically you need to donate to our channel. So let's be honest, it's the only way we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> do it these days, aren't we? Um, and that way we will prioritize and guarantee that request for you. You can donate via coffee.com, link is in the description, or on some of our YouTube videos, you can donate directly as well. Secondly, just to let you know, on our album reaction review channel, we have now reacted to Chakra Khan's, I think his first album, which was it, was it from 2000 and 13, 2014, something like that. Yeah, so we actually reacted to the whole album, right? So it's a long video and you can watch that video. You'll find the link down below um, in the description. So please check that, check that out. And I think they are all the announcements that we have for today. So we're going to be reacting to No Woman No Cry. So yeah. Bob Marley cover by Chakra Khan. Oh, the Bob Marley song, sorry, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> joking, of course, joking. So, Brett, um, anything else you want to say apart from apart from that? <laughs> no, that's all I'll probably say. That's and apologize for looking so dark. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's get going then. All right. So, let's go for it. By the way, this is a cover rehearsal video no man no cry no woman no cry Say Okay, so yeah, I'm interested to get your thoughts on this in a moment. Um, so this is like a, a sort of slowed down version of Bob Marley's one. I mean, Bob Marley's wasn't exactly fast. It seems to be even slower, this one. And I don't wanna give too much away regarding the album reaction that we were just talking about. Um, 
but what I like about this, say compared to that album that we reacted to, I feel like this is like where we really get to hear and appreciate um, Chakra's voice because we don't have like, I don't know, much music going on in the background. You can really appreciate his voice, um, which I think is probably why I prefer these covers that he does to some of the, I suppose, I don't know, like the other stuff we've been listening to, like his, the Indonesian kind of love songs or, or, or whatever they are, the 90s kind of songs that we've called them. Um, so, yeah, I, I really just love the powerfulness of his, of his voice as he's singing this. It's like very meticulous and definitely looking forward to the last part as well. So, Brett, what about you? Um, yeah, I would say exactly the same as what you've said there. I was going to try and avoid going down sort of the comparing to the album side of things. So I'm kind of glad you kind of did that. Um, so we haven't talked about it as well. But as you said, it's it's just the simplicity for me of it. As you said, just a simple keyboard, well, almost organ sounding um, tune in the background. The two sort of backing singers just doing a minimal amount there. And it's just sort of about Shakra Khan his voice and taking a real well-known song, slow song, slowing it down even more. And like I said, almost changing it enough to almost be like a, a totally different song and kind of almost giving it sort of new meaning, hearing from the lyrics and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm really sort of enjoying this cover um, as it is. And as I said, yeah, some other bits to come in the song. So it'll be interesting what, happens um what shall come will do with that later on then we would cook corn for it of which i say with you my feet Okay, yeah. So that was uh, that was really, really strong, really strong, powerful performance. Um, and I think we kind of saw a style of singing as well in a way that we haven't really seen from Chakra before, like with the the, the I suppose we call it the whistles, the kind of Gabrielle trade, Gabriel Enrique trademark whistle. Um, because that's actually quite interesting. Because I don't know why I've called talking about Gabriel Enrique in this video, but he he's obviously known for his sort of high-pitched singing, so the whistle kind of goes with that, whereas Chakra's got a much deeper voice. 
so it's interesting to hear a whistle there from from him um really yeah really interesting i think like what you said earlier it's kind of like a new take on the song it gives a song the way he sings the song gives it a different feel to it even though it's the same you know the same lyrics uh, it's kind of the same kind of tune it's just he made he's always he's just kind of made it his own with his style of of, of singing in that one so yeah that was a real eye opener i really enjoyed that um and yeah this is kind of the chakra khan that i i really enjoy listening to because i think it we get to really experience sort of hit the best of him i guess we could say um what about you brett what would you say to that yeah, I'd say um, a lot to that. That's um, again echoing the same sort of things that you're saying there. It's just all something that you can't really not like from the Shaka Khan performance there. Just had all his sort of voice performance, as I said before, like just the subtleness of the, the backing singers, just complement it well. Um, the, the keyboard slash organ sounding, and then obviously a little bit of the guitar to halfway through that there as well. Um, but then just the focus on his voice and as you said, I mean, we should talk about Gary because we had not that we compared them before, but always talked about how different um, they were, and that we've never really had, you know, the sort of high pitch whistles from Shaka Khan. Didn't think he was ever capable, possible, or where would he ever make it work in anything <laughs> that he does? But here, he really does, and it just shows again the diversity um, he has. And I'm not saying that Gabriel can't do sort of those low tone husky elements that Shaka Khan does but we, we've yet to really see that from Gabrielle but with Shaka Khan we have seen uh, at the point being we've just seen this sort of different side of what else he can do um, with his voice but I said yeah it almost felt like a, a totally different song with different meaning different feeling and it, this is the Shaka Khan that we like really simple things on not much needed to adjust his voice and just his uh, um, pure emotion to to make it what it is okay well i think that is everything from us so thank you for watching subscribe please if you haven't already for more amazing content from us <laughs> um, and we look forward to seeing you again soon uh goodbye